I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, yeah! moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. What are we going to do with all these marshmallows and all this PVC pipe? Why, engineer Little Marshmallow Mayhem, of course. Yeah! Time to do some engineering. Remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. So the challenge I'm giving to my lab assistants today is to see if they can build their own marshmallow blasters out of PVC pipe. The key is that they can only use air they can blow out. For this you'll need half inch PVC pipe, half inch PVC connectors like T-joints, elbow joints, couplers, etc., and half inch PVC caps. You'll also need some marshmallows and some safety glasses. While you can cut PVC with a saw, I strongly urge you to invest in a PVC cutter. It makes cutting so much faster, easier, and cleaner. Also, I suggest investing in a larger cutter, like this 2-inch PVC cutter, because while I can cut half-inch pipe with this 2-inch cutter, I can't cut 2-inch pipe with a half-inch cutter. Now, because you don't want to put something that's been sitting in a hardware store in your mouth, I recommend thoroughly washing and sterilizing one coupler to use as a mouthpiece. Since this is an engineering challenge, there isn't one single way to approach the problem, but I do encourage taking the time to sketch out ideas before cutting and building. Now, while they get started on their designs, let's talk about the science behind the blasters. Remember that air is made of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other trace gases. In other words, air is made of matter. In the past, we've discussed that matter can exert a force on other matter, creating motion. So these fans at our sail car exhibit can blow air that pushes against the sail of the cart, making it move. Then at our launch cage, the air in these tires is forced out by stomping on the tires. The air is pushed up the tube, which causes the rocket to launch. And at the ball coaster, air from blowers in here pushes the balls up the tube. Just like all those things move with air, we can just blow air through a pipe to make a marshmallow move. While effective, this lacks style. Let's go see how my lab assistants are doing. This doesn't fit on here. Well, that's because this is a cap and this is a coupling. What you need is you're gonna need to make sure to put a piece of pipe in between. This is for a half inch pipe to fit in here and then a cap to fit on top. So if you wanna cut down a piece of pipe, we can definitely do that or you can find a smaller piece of pipe. Oh, that makes more sense. My thing's not shooting and I think it's because the air's like splitting up when it reaches this. Yeah, that's definitely what happens is that your air separates. The more arms you have, the more your air is going to separate out and so you'll get lower pressure in each area. If you want to have a whole lot of pressure, you want to have just one single exit. Otherwise, you got to blow even harder to get to go any distance. The last two times I blowed, um, the marshmallows shot up here. Where I put them. So how does it work? Show me how you're... Um, I blow through here blow and it goes through. all the way. Oh, okay, so ideas that's supposed to go out through here, but you're saying the marshmallow is getting stuck up in here? Yeah, I blowed and then it went up there. All right, so let's try tightening this down. Because what you may have is you may have an air leak, which means that some of the air is pushing it up. So is this how you hold it like this? Okay, so as so long as gravity isn't against you, if you hold it like this, it may very well go down. If you hold it like this, my bet is it should go down and out. I want to make another uh, hand, uh, handle, but the but I can't. I, I don't know how to put it. Just I need that there, and I can't make this too long because then my air won't go through and sh shoot all the marshmallows. Okay, so what you can do is you can cut down the pipe here and add in another T connector below it with a pipe and a cap to make your handle. Okay, thank you. Sure. The most important thing to remember when engineering is that your first design may not work the way you intended, and that's okay. The key is to observe, determine the issue, learn from your mistakes, and persist until your blaster, or anything else you make, works. Keep in mind that engineering products usually takes multiple builds, tests, and retests before you get a working product. And then, of course, don't be afraid to go back and try to make it better. Smell that? Do you smell that? What? Marshmallows. Nothing else smells like them. I love the smell of marshmallow in the morning. This has been another oh wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. 
We hope your mind can come out to play.